YouTube what is going on guys welcome to this beautiful morning at uh, Sunshine Skyway Fishing Pier guys man it is beautiful out here um, right now the bait are just starting to come up on surface uh, the light uh, sorry the Sun is uh, starting to shine uh, so those those bait fish they're 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 panicking right now so um, man look at them guys I don't know if y'all can see them down there but man it is going to be a awesome day uh thanks for watching and uh stay tuned uh, we're gonna try to see if we can get on some snapper and some grouper A big snapper boy. That's a fat snapper. Well, he wanted that. Guys, look at this snapper. Thank you. Take it. Nice snapper, guys. Nice snapper. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to to uh, get my hook out. I would have to get that hook later. Yep. It's a nice snapper, though. I'll measure him up real quick. I did not expect that. Not off that big hook. I need to hit that big piece of fish. Measure them up real quick, see what we got on here. Mm. Man, you just gotta find the measure. Measure this up real quick, guys. See how big this boy is. That's a 15 inch snapper right there, guys. Don't you guys see that real quick? Look at that. 15 inch. Turn around so you guys can see. 15 on the head. 15. All right. Big snapper, big boy. Nice snapper, guys. Okay. Let me show them to you real quick. Feisty guy too. Real quick. Look at that snapper, guy. Let me go on the light. Look at that. Nice. 
What's going on guys? Uh, so, um, we're in the kitchen. Uh, I'm doing a catch and cook for you guys today. Uh, that snapper you just saw me catch, that 15 inch snapper down at the Skyway. Um, I am going to be doing a uh, fish and grits. We're gonna do a Creole style. Um, so, you guys stay tuned, it should be good. It should be a good catch and cook. Um, so, there's my snapper. There's that 15 inch snapper I caught down there. And then over at the stove, already rendered some bacon. And uh, I just got the grease in the pot. So we're going to de deglaze this pot. Um, and we're going to make our sauce in this pot. And then we're going to make um, our grits in this pot. I'm not going to do a traditional grit, guys. I'm going to do a city grit. City grits um, originated down in uh, Louisiana. So I'm going to show you guys how I make the city grits. And then we're going to do some... I have a, a French baguette for the crostinis. I know you see these little bread that you see in the uh, in the restaurants when you go. Um, these are actually the culinary term for them are crostinis. So again, guys, uh, stay tuned, and uh, we're gonna get cooking. All right, you guys. So <clears throat> I do got my uh, snapper fillets here. I'm gonna go and uh, add my seasoning to it. So I got some obey. And uh, I'm trying out this uh, new Creole season that I uh, just purchased. It's called uh, Slap Your Mama. So we're gonna see what this is about. Never heard of it before, but hey, I always contribute to the small businesses. So we're gonna try this out and see how this is. Season this other side too. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna bring the uh, the uh, Creole seasoning over because we are going to use that in our. Uh, our Bar Blanc sauce that we're gonna put over the uh, fish and grits. And you guys are gonna see that in a minute. But I just wanted to go ahead and get this fish started. And I do have the, um, the uh, grease started for the, um, for the grits. So we're gonna go ahead and add our grits to it. Add this to that. See, as you can see, they are cooking now. We're not going to add that much because I don't need that much. But we do need to whisk it. I'm going to grab my whisk. Whisk that. And now we want to add our, go ahead and add our warm mixture. Because we don't want those grits to lump up. So the grits will lump up. So. Now this mixture I have, um, I'm actually trying almond milk. Um, with city grits you need uh, a ratio of half uh, heavy cream and half milk. But again, you know, I wanted to try almond milk just to see, um, you know, I'm all about my, uh, you know, trying, you know, adding different things to your palate. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try this out and see how it is. Now with this heavy cream, now you, you are gonna have to stir these grits. Um, I know some people like to leave your grits, um, but with the heavy cream, that, that consistency with that cream is so heavy that these grits, um, they will clump up on you. So you definitely want to make sure that you're stirring your grits. Um, so we're going to turn down this eye. Now I didn't add all of the grits um, just because it's only me and um, <clears throat> Lewis is going to try these for me as well. Um, you guys saw Lewis in my other video with the uh, ceviche. So he's going to try this for me as well. And tell me what he thinks about it. But we're going to flip this. Uh... Oops. Flip that 
put that up later. I know y'all are starting to pop a little bit. So, again, we'll take those off for a minute so we can stir in our, sorry, not stir it in, but flip our fish. Coming this side, it's hard trying to do something left handed. <laughs> there. <clears throat> but, gotta do it. So, as I was saying before, that bacon grease is uh, pretty much, um, you know, you have to get it hot and then you have to add your, uh, your grits to it because you want those to cook first, but you can see the consistency of these grits, guys. And um, it's no lie that this uh, recipe is phenomenal. Again, I am trying the almond milk, first time trying that. Now you definitely want to add, you want to try to add ratios when it comes to your uh, liquid base, because you don't want to add too much. Um, some people like a thinner grit, some people like a thicker grit. Uh, for this recipe, we're gonna go um, in the middle uh, I do like a, a thicker grit, um, but again, you know, it's all in your preference and what you, you want to add to it. Now with uh, grits, um, you know, I know people that do add sugar. I know people that add salt. I, I'm, I'm going to add salt um, and we're going to add some cheese to it, but the cheese we're going to add to it is a Gouda cheese. Um, I'm a big fan of Gouda. Um, I like Gouda. Go ahead and turn our fish off and we're going to just let that sit on the eye cook slowly. Uh, Cause it's almost cooked. It doesn't take fish long to cook anyway. Uh, I'm gonna add just a little bit more milk to it, or heavy cream and milk, that mixture, and um, that should be good, guys. We'll let that cook. We'll let that uh, that um, mixture, liquid mixture, reduce in there, and um, yeah, that should be good. And then we'll add our uh, Gouda cheese. Bring this fish over. Now these are somewhat instant grits, they're five minutes. Um, so, but these are not the microwave ones. These are the ones that you cook on the stove top. And like I, I said again, you know, these are called instant grits and they do cook in about five minutes and it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, you can see. Now um, I am going to just let it finish cooking like this and we're going to add our cheese to it guys this is one of the simplest uh, recipes that you can make um, simple um, and it's it's filling too because uh because if you, you you do eat grits and you know about grits you know they're filling especially for breakfast a lot of people eat them for breakfast but um you know shrimp and grits actually originated down in the lower parts of Louisiana and um, you know it was one of those those dishes that uh, if, you, if you didn't have a lot of money you had a lot of food so um, yeah, that consistency is really getting where I wanted to get guys um, and again you know with the grits you definitely want to keep stirring uh, we want that cheese to uh, incorporate really well in the grits. Now, um, the reason why I did not use my fish for my pan that I cooked my bacon in uh, is because I do want to deglaze that pan uh, to make my uh, beurre blanc. Uh, as you're going to see right now. I'm just going to keep uh, stirring up. Now, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get our crostinis in the oven i just put a slight little bit on there put the garlic on there shake a little garlic on there i do like garlic just about everything garlic is great some people might be allergic some people just might not like garlic but hey again you know with christinis you definitely want to have some kind of flavor to them. Um, this is, I can't believe it's not butter spray. And uh, we're just gonna give it a light coat. A little bit more garlic on this side. Not so heavy. 
And that's it, guys. That's all she wrote. I'm going to pop these in the oven. Put those in there for about, we'll say, cook time. Say we'll put them in there for about seven minutes. And we'll start that timer. All right, here's my grits, guys. I am going to add a little bit of salt to it. Good. Throw that in there. Mm -hmm. Then I'm just gonna jump over here. I'm gonna turn this on, and uh, we're gonna make our beurre blanc, guys. Like a, I, like I said again, guys, this is one of the quickest. One of the easiest recipes that you can uh, that you can definitely make. If you're, in, if you're trying to impress the family, trying to impress a date, whatever, guys. Uh, it's always better when you actually go out and catch what you're cooking. Um, but uh, again, you know, I am definitely, you know, inspired by culinary arts. Um, it's definitely a passion for me. Um, but that pan is uh, actually heating up now uh, so <clears throat> let it heat it up a little bit more and then we're gonna add our <coughs> we're gonna add our uh, white wine to it clean this off real quick Guys, that should be good. Go ahead and add our wine to it. All right, we're just gonna deglaze that pan. Deglaze that pan. Let that uh, some of that wine uh, evaporate. Wine uh, has the uh, tendency to uh, evaporate pretty quick. Now the reason, again, the reason why I did not use the fish um, in this baking grease, um, and I wanted to deglaze this pan is because that's where the flavor is um so if you're just starting out cooking or if you are a cook you know about um how important it is to deglaze a pan um because that's where the flavor is and if you don't know about it then yes you definitely want to uh deglaze your pan um and get all of that flavor out of it when you're cooking uh, so like i said again we're gonna we're going to let that evaporate. Smells really good. I'm going to try these uh, grits. Oh, God. Dude, these grits are... Mm. Okay. Wow. Okay, that's really good. Alright. All right. Alright. We're just gonna add our butter. Actually, you know what? Back up. Add a little bit of heavy cream. Oh, that mixture. Sorry. Add that mixture in there. I'm just gonna let that heat up. As you can see, it is gonna heat up pretty rather rather quickly here for us, which is good. Check on our Christine's. Just about done. About three minutes. We should be done then. 
can let that evaporate a little bit. Anytime you eat, you're eating any kind of fish, or anytime I'm eating any kind of fish, I like to add just a little drops of lemon. There's just something about the, the lemon juice and adds that, that, that missing ingredient. What does it smell like? Oh, okay, that's the wine. That's the wine. Probably got too much in there. I'll go ahead and let a little bit out. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. I don't need much. That butter is definitely gonna hold it. So it's alright to add a lot more than what you need. Because you can get rid of what you need. The ex the um, excess. And then just add your butter in there. Christina's are ready. There we go. All right. That's pretty much what you want, guys. You want something that's thick, something you can layer over. We'll let this piece of butter evaporate a little bit. That's the consistency of a burr blanc right there. See how that butter is just making its way around. Now we will not put this back on the heat. We will add a little bit of Creole seasoning to it. Again, that's that slap your mama Creole seasoning. Sorry, I'm probably making you guys dizzy here. Let me make sure it's all the way in there. here and uh, we're gonna take our uh, crostinis out because they are done make sure we get our little holder here we're gonna put up all our ingredients our cheese goes in there as well Now it's time to plate it, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and plate this for you guys.
No, I usually go right in the middle. We're going to take one piece of the fish. We're going to lay it in the front like that. And we're going to take some of this sauce that we have, guys. And we're just going to put that right over there. We can leave that in the sauce. And then we're going to take, we're going to put the bacon first, a little bit of bacon. And then we're going to take some scallions right there. All right, guys, and that is our plate. There it is, so simple. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful fish and grits right there for you. Perfect. <clears throat> All right, you guys, now for the taste test. Um, but man, this came out great. And uh, everything looks amazing. So we're gonna try this real quick. Mmm. Really good. Wow. Hey again, guys, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. All right, you guys, as promised, uh, I do got Lewis here. Let's go. So Lewis is gonna try the uh, fish and grits for me with the Christinas. And uh, hey, just, just to let you guys know, Lewis is my guinea pig, so. <laughs> hey, I don't mind doing this good job, guys. All right, let me see. There it is, guys, let's see. Man, that fish, it's a different flavor, bro. Like a flaky. And that's Cajun, thing? that's Cajun um, seasoning on there too. Mm -hmm. And those are city grits. So, Man. what do you what do you think, Louis? Hmm. Grits, bro. It melt in your mouth, bro. It's grits. Perfect. Okay, guys. There you have it. You heard it from Louis's mouth. This fish is amazing. Hey, until next time, guys. Um, thank you for watching. <laughs>